Please go ahead. All right. Hello. Bonjour. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, today for our virtual announcement uh, to help strengthen and, and the growth of Northern Ontario manufacturing sector. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, mon nom c'est Lucie Perrault. Uh, I'm the Director of Program Delivery at Fednor, and I'll be your MC uh, for this morning's announcement. Uh, so first, let me acknowledge the traditional territories of the Indigenous peoples uh, who have inhabited these lands for thousands of years, uh, and I wish to show them my respect uh, today. Uh, two quick housekeeping tips before we begin. Uh, the chat function has been turned off uh, for this event. Uh, so uh, once we start the announcement, though, uh, there will be, right near the end of the announcement, uh, you'll find a link to the news release. Uh, for today's announcement at the bottom uh, in the chat function. Uh, there will be a question and answers session uh, for members of the media uh, following the presentations. Uh, you're all welcome to, uh, to listen in uh, and do that. So uh, without further delay, uh, let me introduce the first speaker. So please welcome uh, to the virtual stage, uh, MP for Nipissing to Miskaming, uh, the Honorable Anthony Rhoda. You're on mute, Anthony. Yeah, I am on mute. Okay, very good. We can't hear you, Anthony. You'll have to start over. I can hear. How's that? Unmute okay. myself. There we go. Is that good? Okay, good. My apologies. Thank you very much, Lucy. Uh, and it's always a pleasure. Annie, bonjour. Uh, bonjour tout le monde and hello. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, with you. Uh, I guess virtually we're in uh, Temiskaming Shores, but, uh, or actually, actually, actually we're in Temiskaming Shores, but virtually we're right across the province, which is kind of interesting in these uh, interesting times. En tant que député de Sault Ste. Marie, ter Mary, uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Terry est un un ardent défenseur du nord de l'Ontario et je suis ravi qu'il soit ici avec nous aujourd'hui pour uh, offrir uh, d'autres bonnes nouvelles au nom du gouvernement du Canada. I was just saying it's great to have Terry Sheehan with us, uh, Parliamentary Secretary uh, and uh, to the to Fednor. Uh, just a few short weeks ago, uh, Terry uh, and uh, I were joined by our friends from Temiskaming Shores to announce Fednor's funding of a half million dollars to establish the 2021 uh, Northern Ontario Mining Show uh, Showcase Pavilion. Uh, fast forward to today, and I'm pleased to say this exciting project is moving forward very well. In fact, we soon will have more exciting news to share about the businesses and organizations from Northern Ontario communities and First Nations that will take part in the 2021 Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada International Convention. And uh, the people that we're uh, with today, uh, Jeremy Burney and uh, We'll, we'll be attending and uh, taking part of it uh, virtually as well, which is very interesting and uh, very good for uh, Temiskaming Shores and all of Northern Ontario. Now, I have visited the, the FedNor funded pavilion many times, and I'm looking forward uh, to connecting virtually this year. And uh, I'm encouraging everyone to try it out and see what happens. Uh, connect and see what uh, you can find. It's amazing the things you find at uh, PDAC. It'll just be that much, uh, that different, but uh, it'll allow you to skip from one to another fairly quickly. So you won't have to walk as much. So always look for the positive side of things. Mm -hmm. As we all know, COVID-19 has affected almost every aspect of our daily to day lives. Les entreprises, en particulier les petites et moyennes entreprises, ont durement ont été durement touchés par la pandémie. That's why I'm thrilled today uh, to announce that we will help create local jobs, support regional recovery efforts, and uh, uh, accelerate uh, sustainable growth within our manufacturing sector. Without further delay, let me introduce my friend and colleague, Parliamentary Secretary Terry Sheehan. Born and raised in Sault Ste. Marie, Terry has spent his career working in both private and public sectors uh, in, in business, community, and economic development. He served uh, Sault Ste. Marie Algoma 
uh, constituents for two terms as trustee for Huron Superior Catholic District uh, School Board, as was uh, he was a four term uh, city councillor. After his election to the Canadian Parliament in 2015, Terry served as co-chair uh, to the All Party, uh, Party Stale Caucus and co-chair to the Canada-Japan Interparliamentary Group. Uh, earlier on, we were having a discussion, and, and it's interesting that we're having this announcement this morning involving the steel industry, because that's something that Terry really does take a strong interest in. Following his re-election in October 2019, Terry was appointed as Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages and Minister Responsible for FEDNOR. So please join me in welcoming FEDNOR's Parliamentary Secretary, Terry Sheehan. Terry, it's all yours. Well, uh, merci, Anthony, and bonjour à tous. And yes, I uh, absolutely, uh, you know, I'm delighted to be back in, in Nipissing uh, uh, to Miskameen for this uh, important announcement around the steel industry. And, you know, this is great that we're doing this virtually. And, you know, I, I think this is about my third announcement for your area, Anthony, in, in, in as many weeks. And you, you talked about the PDAC uh, announcement, which is absolutely critical and it's doing so well. And I'm looking forward for uh, participating in it uh, later on this week as well. And one of the things that uh, I, I do uh, miss as the parliamentary secretary to FedNor is actually physically being in shops because, um, you know, that gives me the opportunity to to see the equipment, to 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 hear the equipment and to talk to the, the staff that are, are so critical in this. And you know what? I miss I miss the smell of steel. Uh, there's a certain smell to steel when it's being manufactured that smells so good. So I do miss the smell of uh, steel this morning. But this is a, a, a very good substitute to to make such an important announcement for your area and for the people uh, in in New Liskard. So I, I I'm absolutely delighted to be here. So again, before I go too far, I want to acknowledge that both Sault Ste. Marie, North Bay, and uh, and in Temiskaming uh, uh, Shores are on the Robinson Huron Treaty and the traditional territory of uh, the Anishinaabeg and, and including the Métis people as well. And I wanted to offer my sincere thank you uh, for sharing your land with us, uh, you know, in the past, today and in the future. So miigwech. Um, I also want to bring greetings from uh, Melanie Jolie, the Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages and the Minister responsible for FEDNOR. And, you know, we have been announcing a number of, of initiatives. Anthony had talked about one, and I think about the uh, the, the recent one that we also uh, announced uh, in your area, uh, in addition to the Northern Ontario Mining Showcase, which we just heard about, but I was also pleased to announce 616,000 in support of five initiatives designated to create and maintain jobs and to support the recovery efforts and enhance business development and growth in this particular area. Uh, Daki Mean and Lands and Resource Corp, Whiskey Jack Beer Company, uh, the Tomogamy and District uh, Chamber of Commerce are just a few of the business that had benefited from that particular announcement. And collectively, uh, all of these projects are expected to create 55 jobs in your region. And that's just excellent news. So I'm thrilled to be here again today with another uh, great uh, announcement. So. As you're aware, our government is working hard with all levels of government and First Nations, community and economic development organizations, and the private sector to create the right conditions for businesses to succeed, innovate, grow, and create those high paying jobs. One of the ways we do this is working through our regional development agencies that I'm so proud to represent here in Northern Ontario, FEDNOR, to provide communities, organizations, and businesses with the tools and support they need to emerge from this very difficult period stronger than ever. And that brings me to the reason why we're here today. I am absolutely thrilled to announce a repayable FedNor investment for more than $410,000 to enable Wabi Iron and Steel Corp to modernize and expand its manufacturing facilities in New Liskert. This strategic investment will help boost manufacturing capacity and create high, um, create, you know, really good eight middle-class jobs right away in the Temiskaming Shores region. It will enable the company to move uh, and improve efficiencies, increase exports and expand product offerings, allowing them to capitalize on growth opportunities to key sectors such as mining, forestry and the mineral processing. It will also uh, specifically, you know, 
help uh, you know, uh, directly with the purchase and installation of a variety of specialty equipment, such as milling, lathing, and molding machines. Very critical. It, was also, it will also help uh, the company complete structural and environmental improvements, such as roof enhancements and lighting upgrades. In Northern Ontario's manufacturers like Wabi Iron and Steel Corp are helping to fuel our recovery efforts, grow the economy, and create high quality jobs that support families throughout your region. And as technologies continue to transform the industry, the Government of Canada will be there to help Canadian companies evolve, scale up, and modernize their operations to increase competitiveness. Northern Ontario has been hit hard by COVID-19, and today's announcements is further proof of the Government of Canada's commitment to families, communities, and businesses, helping them not just to survive, but to also thrive. So it will help Canadians get back to work and assure Northern Ontario manufacturer sector is well positioned to fully participate in Canada's economic recovery. Let me conclude by saying how proud I am to be part of a government that is focused on delivering positive results for the families, businesses, and municipalities and Indigenous communities of Northern Ontario. Thank you, merci, miigwech. Thank you, gentlemen. Always a pleasure. Um, it's exciting to work with you know municipalities and businesses and you know organizations, First Nation communities, you know throughout our region, uh, especially when you see some you know interesting. Uh, projects uh, like this one. So Wabi Iron and Steel uh, is a great company uh, and I'm, I'm proud that you know we were able to help support uh, this important project. So here with us to share more of, of this great project uh, and some of the anticipated results uh, is Jeremy Burney, uh, the CEO of Wabi Iron and Steel Corporation. So over to you Jeremy. Uh, okay great well um... <clears throat> Thank you, and it's, it's very nice to join uh, everyone on the call here today. Uh, on behalf of everyone here at Wabi, I just want to start by saying uh, that we are proud and grateful <coughs> to be receiving this capital expenditure funding from FedNor. Uh, the FedNor funding announced today will be leveraged to complete 22 upgrade projects between now and the end of the year. Uh, these projects span the full spectrum of our operations uh, and will increase efficiency and capacity internally well, enhancing quality and on-time delivery for our customers. Uh, Wabi's been in business here in Timiskaming Shores since 1907, and we are proud to be a continuing force for economic progress in our community. This FedNor funding further solidifies Wabi's position as a strong and vibrant company. We look forward to using these projects to improve <clears throat> on our excellent track record of quality, innovation, and engineering expertise that goes into everything that we do. Well, I'm speaking here publicly today, I just want to make a quick mention of the team here at Wabi uh, and all the hard work that they're doing to make this company great. Stan Groswosinski, our president, and Sue Cote, our vice president and controller, have been working tirelessly for years to get Wabi to where it is today. Also, Daryl Goochter and Johnny Davio, <clears throat> Tanya Tomlinson, and really the entire team uh, is doing great work right now uh, to take the company to the next level. Wabi's come a long way in the past few years, and all of the credit for that progress goes to this team. So while I have this moment to talk, I just want to publicly say thank you to my team. I couldn't ask for better people to work with, and I feel privileged to be working with them every day to make Wabi a great company. Uh, so on behalf of everyone here at Wabi, uh, I want to say thank you to FedNor, uh, and specifically to Denise Deschamps for her assistance throughout the process over the past year, uh, but really everybody at FedNor. Uh, uh, we, we really appreciate this. And also to Anthony Rhoda and Terry Sheehan for their ongoing commitment to economic development in the North. Uh, projects like this make our company and by extension, our community more sustainable for the years ahead. Uh, so thank you very much. We appreciate the support. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it back to the MC. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you so much, uh, Jeremy. We were talking earlier about you know good management on the team, and clearly you're appreciative of, of your team, uh, and it uh, it shows in, in your remarks um, that you know you're a great leader for that business. Um, we appreciate um, you also taking the time to share some of the results with us. So it's always nice for Fednor to hear. Uh, you know, firsthand and for others to hear firsthand uh, sort of the results and the benefits of, of what our investments are doing uh, in the specific uh, regions. 
So through, you know, through that program, through a really program, but through other ongoing programs, uh, you know, it's important um, measures like, you know, in projects like yours that, you know, really result in economic growth, uh, especially in some of our rural, small rural communities. Uh, another program that we are right now delivering is the Regional Relief and Recovery Fund. Um, you know, a fund that's going to continue to, or help ensure that municipalities, businesses, you know, like yourselves, organizations and, and First Nation communities across Northern Ontario, you know, not only survive uh, or recover from the impacts of COVID-19, uh, but emerge, you know, from these challenging times, you know, stronger than ever um, in doing that. So um, this, I guess, concludes uh, the formal part of our agenda. Uh, we'll now begin the Q&A portion of the event. So everyone is welcome to stay uh, and listen in. Uh, but for anyone who may have to head out, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, for members of the media, if you can please um, use the raise your hand function uh, button at the bottom of your screen uh, to let us know that you wish to ask a question. Um, and you know, when we, we say go, uh, if you could please identify yourself and the media organization that you're working for uh, and to whom you're directing your question, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, so let's open up the floor to questions. Attendees. I'm not seeing any questions at all. I guess you guys, you gentlemen, you did a really good job of announcing this project. Uh, no questions. So Barclay, do we have any questions in, in the other forum, like in the chat or? I don't see any in the chat, no. Okay, perfect. So this then will conclude the, uh, the announcement. So thanks again, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you to all the attendees uh, for listening uh, to our great announcement today. Bonjour. Um, Have a great week. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.